My senior year in high school, I had my first encounter with the value of mental strength training during the high school football season. I didn't know exactly what was happening at the time, but was fortunate to discover it some five years later. Hello, I'm Dr. Jay Roundy, and I would like to share a story with you with the hope that it might be helpful for you. My senior high school class had a large number of very talented male athletes. So all of the traditional school athletic programs were successful at a high level. This included football, basketball, baseball, track and field, and wrestling. Our school did not have a football stadium, so our home games were played at a district stadium that was about a 20 minute bus ride from our school. Of all places, this district stadium we played our home games at was on the campus of our crosstown rival. I was fortunate enough to be a regular starter on varsity football for multiple years. As we approached our opening game my senior year, our coaches announced a new pregame routine for the season. This is what we had to do. We had to be taped and dressed, ready to board the bus 40 minutes before the bus departed. During that 40 minutes, all players had to go into the gymnasium with the bleachers back against the walls in semi-darkness. While there, all players were to lay on the floor by themselves and in silence go over your assignments for the game. These assignments were based on our scouting report and the practice we had engaged in during the week leading up to the game. We had an 11 game schedule that year, but I played 22 games that season. Do you know how I did that? Think about it. We had an 11 game schedule that year, but I played 22 games that season. I played a complete game from the first kickoff to the final whistle of the fourth quarter in the gym 40 minutes before boarding the bus to the real game. This happened in semi-darkness, lying in quiet by myself, reviewing my assignments. With no additional specific instruction, I found my way to what turned out to be a very effective visualization and mental rehearsal process. What I discovered and experienced during this pregame routine included achieving a state of intensively focused, relaxed concentration and seeing myself and my team playing almost every play of an entire game or at least the scouted and known tendencies in certain situations. I didn't know exactly what I was doing, but I knew during that very first game that something was going on related to that time in the gym. Spending time visualizing and mentally rehearsing the game, specifically my assignments, had some very significant results. I played with the lowest level of nervousness, and the highest level of confidence I had ever experienced because I had already played or rehearsed the game with perfect execution in a state of intensively focused, relaxed concentration. During the game, I actually saw certain plays develop, enabling me to anticipate the next move my opponent would take and my best action related to that. The review and rehearsal of my specific assignments based on our scouting report heightened my awareness and anticipation in a positive way. I experienced a connection between mental rehearsal and visualization to performance. While I made some mistakes and our team didn't win every game or the state title that year, I had the most successful athletic season I ever experienced. Some five years later, after some continued athletic competition at the college and professional level, along with some formal study of psychology, I realized what I was doing my senior year in high school. I was achieving a state of intensively focused, relaxed concentration and visualizing and mentally rehearsing my performance perfectly. This was eye-opening for me. 
It was one of a few experiences that launched my interest in the mental aspect of human performance. The value of intentionally directed mental strength training on performance is well documented. This is true whether that performance is in sports or business or life in general. While this is true, the number of individuals, teams, and organizations that do more than acknowledge this is surprisingly low. Once anyone experiences the real value of that connection, they will want to learn and practice mental strength training. I trust that this will jumpstart or further accelerate your own pursuit of mental strength training that directly improves your performance. Thank you.